Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. The case of Shanquilla Robinson has seemed to be at a standstill. We've seen the video. We know the names. We've seen the death certificate. We've been to the funeral and the rallies. What's next? The Cabo Six are still going to work, still out driving, laughing with friends, while Shanquilla lay in her casket, cold, waiting for justice. Now, I understand that things take time, but we're going on two months now. It doesn't seem like all of them will be free much longer. My sources are telling me that pictures will be released tomorrow, five to be exact, showing that the Cabo Six dressed Shanquilla, dressed her in biker shorts, dressed her in a t-shirt, placed her in front of the living room bathroom, trying to make it look as though Shanquilla fell when getting out of the bathroom and she lay there for hours. And then when the maid found her, they were like, oh my God, what happened? From my understanding, from what's being told to me, everybody's involved. Everybody's being implicated. And these pictures that will be released tomorrow are gonna tell it all. Now we're gonna get into that and so much more, but before we do, Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding Shanquilla and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Now I'm sure the Cabo Six thought they were home free when they left Shanquilla and traveled back home a day earlier than expected. As you recall, they got there on October 28th. Shanquilla died October 29th. They were supposed to leave on October 31st. They got a room the day that Shanquilla passed away and left the morning of October 30th. Now I'm sure they probably thought they would never return to Mexico again to face charges of tampering with a crime scene. Yes, right now, charges have only been placed on one person and that's the aggressor in the video miss dejanae jackson however my sources are telling me that two of the six are snitching to get a lesser charge and all six of them assisted in some type of way shape or form in tampering with a crime scene pictures are being produced tomorrow night five pictures to be exact showing shanquilla dressed in biker shorts and a black t-shirt and laying on the ground in the living room being assisted by the people that were called to help her. As you recall, the doctor, the doctor that's currently under investigation and the police, they were all called after the maid found her laying on the floor in the living room. This is as if she walked out of the bathroom and fell on the floor in the living room. The maid went to go get the friends who were still within this 6,000 square foot villa and she said, hey, your friend is very ill. She was stiff to the touch. She was cold. You guys need to get some help. And that's when the doctor was called in. Now, as you recall from that short video that we watched, I believe it was around 15, 17 seconds, Dejanae assaulted Shanquilla, but the video turned off before we could see anything. The last thing we saw was Shanquilla on the floor. She was grabbing her face and she looked down at her hand almost to see if blood was on her hand. Now, according to the longer video that law enforcement in Mexico saw, Saul, Winter Donovan runs from the back room. She starts fighting or fussing with Dejanae. And the next thing they knew, Shanquilla falls backwards and hits the floor and she never gets back up. With that being said, Shanquilla had absolutely no time to get dressed before dying. So who put the clothes on her? How the heck would Shanquilla be able to put on biker shorts and a t-shirt and fall on the ground in the living room to allegedly show that she's leaving out of the bathroom only to be found by the maid later. How is this possible? There's only one logical answer. It's not. They dressed her and it's not just one person. Think about dressing a limp body. Now think about dead weight. You can't be serious. These pictures are coming out tomorrow showing Shanquilla in the living room beside a couch. It's showing the doctor stunned. There's other people in the room showing Shanquilla dress. You evil, meticulous, conniving, sinister bastards picked out her clothing and put them on her. Something tight like biker shorts. Can you imagine how hard it is for us to put on biker shorts? You guys actually maneuvered her body with your sick asses and put on biker shorts on this girl on a cold marble floor and manipulated the crime scene to make it look like it was her fault after getting her dress. Y'all mark my words, Dejanae is the big fish. Once Dejanae gets over to Mexico, Dejanae will be singing like a canary. There's no way Dejanae, as strong and as big as she is, did all of this by herself. Dejanae definitely had help. Now who helped her 
is the question. Now, my source is telling me that although Dejanay is the aggressor, she will not be going down for this crime alone. Yes, she is the one that took Shanquilla's life, but there's other people around that watched it and did not stop it. There's other people around that are accessories after the fact. There's other people around that tampered with a crime scene, and that is a crime in Mexico. As you've probably already seen online, different reporters, Joe Bruno and other reporters have been knocking on the doors of the Cabo Six, going from Charlotte, traveling to High Point, Winston-Salem, all of the addresses that have been listed for these people are null and void. The neighbors are saying they haven't seen them. They're in hiding. However, there have been notices or I guess cards from the police department on the door saying, hey, we want to talk to you. Again, I'm being told that two out of the six are working with investigators in Mexico. Now, who those two are, I don't know. According to reports, all six have been summoned to testify of the crime of taking the life of Shinquella Robinson. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Sheriff's Office did send a series of subpoenas last week to the private homes of the Cabo Six. Crime happened in Mexico. We know at least six people were in the house. We can't really pinpoint when Nazir got there, but at least six people were in the house. One of those six died. Luckily, what was meant to embarrass her, the video, actually is helping to solve this murder. We have five people that we know for sure were involved. Dejanay was in the room doing the beating. Malik was recording. He was the one saying, Quella, can you at least fight back? Elise was in the room recording on FaceTime because if you close your eyes and listen, you can hear the person go, mm, mm, each time Shanquilla got hit. Khalil, the worst best friend anyone could possibly have, was also in the room. Last but not least, Winter Donovan runs into the room to stop Dejanay. But again, after Shanquilla falls down, you all left her there as if nothing ever happened and she magically appears in front of the bathroom. The U.S. authorities have questions for you. The Mexican authorities have questions for you. You have to answer to these questions. Running forever will get you nowhere. There was a summit held on December 15th where the government of Mexico and United States held this forum in San Jose del Cabo where they shared experiences on law enforcement and discussed cooperation on investigative issues between the two countries. Now, the event was led by the governor of Baja California, Sir Victor Manuel Castro Casillo, and the United States ambassador to Mexico, Ken Salazar. And as you can imagine, the case of Shanquilla Robinson and the Cabo Six was a big topic among the people attending the forum. Only 25 to 45 people are extradited from the United States back to Mexico each year, and it's not even known how many of those people are actual U.S. citizens. So they did discuss Dejanay and the process of getting her extradited from the United States back to Mexico. A long process to get her back. They can't just scoop her up, put her on a plane and send her there. Again, attorney Dmitry Shaknovich did speak about that in earlier videos. Once Dejanay is extradited, I guarantee you the rest of the pieces will come into play. I think about that old nursery rhyme. I don't want to go to Mexico no mo mo mo. There's a big fat policeman at the do do do. If he catch you by the collar, boy, you better holler. I don't want to go to Mexico no mo mo mo. Cause you're not that cute, and your hair is uneven. You look dusty. The prisons are so bad. You find a place on the floor to sleep on that don't smell like piss. They get one cup that everybody shares in the cell, and they pass it around. The prison that Dejanay is going to will be filled with killers, snipers drug lords and kingpins. I say this from the bottom of my heart and the depths of my soul. Cabo Six, I honestly hope that you enjoy this Thanksgiving and the Christmas that you just recently had because from my understanding, it's gonna be your last one. Well, at least on US soil for a very long time. So you guys go ahead and get that last little piece of turkey and ham, honey, because they're coming for ya. Now, what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about everything going on with this story of Shanquella Robinson? What do you think about them dressing her and dressing her in biker shorts, knowing how hard that is to put back on? These are some very sick individuals. Now, after these pictures do post tomorrow night, we will be back to talk about them and talk about what you've seen and how you feel. Leave a comment. Let me know everything you feel about this story. You know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.